video, I'm going to go over how to add a basic assignment and how to use the submissions on an assignment in Noble. So in the Assignments tab, you can go over to the Add button, and you see that there are the three options here. Uh, the first one is called an assignment. So that is just a template for how you can create a way for students to submit something in Noteble or for them to see something as an assignment in the Assignments tab. In my last set of videos, I covered the Grades tab. So if you're wondering about things like category, and points and grade display type, those are covered in those grades tab videos, so I'd encourage you to take a look at those. But when you're creating an assignment, the first thing you'll do is give it a title. So I'm going to call this paper one, and then you're going to choose a category. I'm going to put this in the assignments category for my course. The next option you see here is visible to. Visible to means those are the students who will see this assignment. So by default, it will be on your entire class. If you have groups that you've set up in the roster tab, you will have the option to select one of those groups. Here you can give your assignment points and points are the weight of that assignment. I talk a little bit more about points and how they are weighted in those gradebook videos. Here, grade display type. I'm going to grade this with letter grade and then the description. This is what you're telling your students about this assignment. For this example, I'm going to have them submit right into the assignment. So I will say, so I put in my description, please see the attached assignment sheet and upload your assignment to Noble. I'm going to click on attach files and I will go ahead and grab something that could be an assignment sheet to attach there. Available date here, this is the day that the students will see the assignment. And the due date, that's the day that it's due, the day you want them to turn it in by. Down here, you have the option to do no submission. So I could create this assignment right now, keep it as no submission and choose create, and this would just show in their assignment, but they would not be able to actually submit anything. This might be something you do if you have them turning something in in the physical classroom rather than in Noteble. But since I do want them to turn it in here, I will change my submission type to file submission. And this is the kind of assignment that I am collecting from them. This will be an individual assignment, but do note you can create group assignments and it's graded by the professor. There is a way to allow students to grade their own and that would be by choosing graded by and then student. Submission options, allow late submissions is an option. I would recommend checking that simply because if students try to submit it even 10 seconds after the due date, they will not be able to submit that you will always see what time they submitted it, and then you can be the judge if you're going to accept that or not. But I typically recommend choosing allow late submissions, and you can always turn it off a few hours after that due date or the next morning, for example. Another option is to convert to Google Docs. I'm going to cover that in the next video because I will supply a little bit more details there. Another submission option is to allow only certain file types. Perhaps I only want to allow my students to submit Word documents so that I can mark them up and track changes. If that's the case, make sure you put that there. And then you can also block their submission attempts and only allow them to submit a few times. Um, this is something that's useful if you're using this template, this create assignment template to collect like an essay exam there might be cases where you want to limit that. But for our purposes, I'm going to do file submission and only allow doc and docx types of files. Then I'm going to click create. So once I create the assignment, I see in my professor view some of the details about the paper, one about the assignment I created, and then I can see submissions that haven't happened yet down there. After my DOCX file processes, I can also see a little preview of it and students can click on that attachment. If this were an assignment sheet, they would be able to click on it. Um, they could download it if they wanted. 
I also have the ability to edit details of my assignment. In the top right, I have the pencil, so I can pull that up and I can make some changes there. So something else that's good to take a look at once you create assignments is always to check out what your students see. And I just did the more view as option. I really like this option and you can view the course as a generic student and you can see exactly what the students see for this assignment. Note that it is really important to tell them to upload the assignment if that's what you want them to do because there have been times where students have just pasted a bunch of text into this text box. Alternatively, you can tell them right in the text box if you just want like a quick thing from the students. You could also have them record audio or video directly into your assignment submission by choosing record audio. That works great for assignments like audio journals and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to X out of this and let's take a look here because I had two students go ahead and submit their files. So once a student submits a file, you can see that one file submitted there with a link. Now, if you have a student claiming that they submitted something but you don't see the one file there, that's probably because they chose to right in that text box and in that case you will need to click the preview button to be able to see that. But here I see a file was submitted. I can see the submission date and the status is that it needs to be graded. So I can go ahead and click on the file there by choosing the file and I can see my student submission. I can then navigate to next student or back to the other student here. I'm going to click the X in the top right to leave that because the other way to view would be to click preview submission and I can see the student's paper that way. In here you can add specific comments to the student. You could also put the grade right there at the top and you can comment here on the other students. If you want to download their paper, mark it up and track changes, you can also do that by choosing download in the top left. But what might be easier is to X out of this view and choose download and download all of the student papers if that's your plan because then Nopal will zip them up in a nice tidy file there and you can go ahead and open that on your computer, unzip it, and you can see that Nopal has put the name of the student along with the name of whatever their file was. So you could open that then in Google Docs, do your track changes, and you could even reattach that. Let me rename this. And I'll just put my initials so that I know I tracked changes on that. And then what I can do after I've marked up that paper is I can take a look and in my reply here I can click attach. I can go ahead and find the file that I did my track changes on, open it, and I could go ahead and post my response and the student will be able to see that. I can put the grade in here and I chose to do letter grades for this, so I gave him an A. I could also do some audio feedback if I wanted by choosing record. I could say, hi Anu, great job on this paper. Please see my comments above. Uh, I can also add more specifics if I need. When you're done, you can hit stop, give it a title, and go ahead and use recording. Make sure you hit that reply button so that the recording will post and the student can go ahead and listen to that. You might notice down here it says it's hidden to students. That's because I haven't published the grades yet. So I can do all of my grading and I can go through every student using this view if I want. I can add my comments in there for all of my students. And then when I'm done, just X out. I can see the grades are there. I can see that I've given feedback. I can also drop down to see what my feedback was. I could even post another comment if I wanted. And when I'm ready, I can hit the publish grades option and I can publish the grades for students. You don't have to have all of the 
assignments graded before you publish. You can always publish and then go back. So I'm still waiting for a few students to submit, but I already published so that Anu and Ron can see their grades. Another option you might want to do is hide the names of students. Uh, you can do that by clicking this more options and choosing to hide the names of your students. Um, Nopal will put some made up names in there so you won't know who anyone is and then you can grade them if you choose to do that. In the next video, I will cover what it looks like when you use the Convert to Google Docs tool with your assignments in Nopal.